When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Maybe you know the theory of uh, Netflix, Raising Dion. This is a theory about telekinesis. The um, child has this power of telekinesis. Um, you should have a look if the te topic of telekinesis is a topic that is interesting you. Have a look here in this short following um, trailer. And uh, yeah, be aware, maybe you think this is a miracle, but I think that people, we have much more power than we think. Have a lot of fun by looking and learning telekinesis. Your dad was traveling so much that year that he made me this video. How's Dion doing? I miss my little man. I'm telling you, Nicole, that kid is something special. We should figure out how to get it under control. How long do you think you can keep this up? Telekinesis is the ability to move objects by only using your mind. Many people have claimed to have psychic ability and to have at some point some sort of success with telekinesis. You too can learn it with enough practice and patience. There are many different techniques you can use when you practice telekinesis. So choose one and stick with this technique till you get the results. Before you start telekinesis exercise, you must practice meditation and learn how to still your mind and body. So before you do the telekinesis, start a 15 or 30 minutes meditation to center yourself and calm your body. When you have done the meditation, you can continue with one of the following techniques. Technique one. For this technique, you will use a side wheel. So take a piece of paper and cut out a small square. Fold the square vertically, horizontally, and then and diagonally. Let it balance on a needle attached to a holder. Make sure it is easy to spin the wheel. Spin it around a couple of times to get used to see it spin. Now place your hands around the wheel and gaze at it. Do not focus too much on the object, just gaze at it. You may want to look at a specific point on the wheel and then let your eyes be fixed at that point. Now focus on making a connection with the object. Let the object be a part of you and see yourself be connected with the energy of the object. The object is part of you, your own arms and legs and it is at easy to move the object as it is to move your own arm. You can say in your head, I know you, I know every part of you, and you are a part of me. Sometimes it is more about creating a strong connection than actually focus on trying to move it. Technique two. For this technique, you will exactly need the same side wheel than for the other technique. Place your hands around it and close your eyes. Now focus on your sacral chakra, the point right beneath your navel. 
This chakra is your sacred chakra and is the internal source of psychic energy. This chakra has a warm orange color. So focus on your sacred chakra and focus on energizing the chakra. Visualize the chakra spin in a clockwise direction while becoming brighter and bigger. The orange color expands. Take the time to really feel the energy inside you. Now direct the energy to your hands and out of your palms. See the orange energy as it moves from your palm chakra. When you are ready, keep pushing up psychic energy from your hands. Let it be strong and let it vibrate so it can move the side wheel. Technique 3. For this exercise, you can use any type of object, such as the side wheel, a pen or a feather. Anything that is light and easy to move. Now focus on your third eye chakra. Between your eyebrows. Visualize a purple energy coming from your third eye. And hit the object you want to move. Get in connection with the object and try to move the feather or the object with the energy coming from your third eye. See the energy purple absorbing the object and the energy field that around it. Now move the object by moving the energy from your third eye. Now train this technique one day after the other. Every day a training Every day you prepare yourself with a meditation and you stick to the same technique. Maybe you try the one or the other. Be aware that depending on your skills, a technique, for instance, for uh, someone that is working with healing energy, the technique of the hands with the palm, with the energy from the hands palm, will better work than with the third eye. And someone that is very visual, that is dreaming a lot, he will prefer the technique of the third eye, for instance. So let's try one of the technique and stick to it, day per day. I hope I could help you. Namaste. Bless you.